Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. We are going to draw the body of Taurosaurus. Although Taurosaurus looks very bulky, it was actually quite active. Its limbs look sturdy, and it should be slow while walking, but it could run for a short period of time. Let's draw it running. It looks grumpy because of the sharp horns. Its big head frill was hollow, so its head was actually not that heavy. Plus, it might have many decorations on its head, which is a feature of those more active animals. Let's draw its body as it was running. Let's start with its head and draw its eyes first. We draw the eyes on the middle part of the paper. Its head frill was very big. There was a relatively hard, ring-shaped structure around its eye sockets, which was similar to Triceratops. Its horns grew from behind the eyes, forming a comma-like shape with its eye sockets. This is the brow horn on the other side. Then, looking at the other side from this direction, we can see the outline of the edge. In the middle, we draw its nose and the nasal bone, followed by its nasal horn, which was a very wide triangle, very different from Triceratops. Downward is a longer mouth. Its mouth was not particularly curved back. And the front and back of it were keratins. Here are its nostrils. Its mouth was relatively big. Let's draw the corners of the mouth bigger, being open. The bottom is also the keratin, and the front was the keratinous beak. There were very small teeth in its mouth, with a rather slender tongue in the middle. The upper teeth are blocked by the upper lip. We can draw some wrinkles at the corners of its mouth. We draw its chin backward and then its cheekbones. Here is its jugal horn with its ears afterwards. Behind the horns are the middle part of the head frill. and the edge of the parietal bone. The top of the head frill was heart-shaped. And the lower part of the head frill was a relatively square structure. And the whole shape is a rectangular. At the end was a bulge that hooked back. Next, there were many square decorations around the edge of its head frill. Many ceratopsians had such ornaments, but most ceratopsians had sharp, pointed horns, while Taurosaurus has more square and long ones. and the last one is sharper.
On the other side, we can draw them blurry, because most of them are not clear due to the angle. Based on a head frill fossil of Taurosaurus, we can see that there were two big holes, and when it was alive, the holes were covered by skin. Due to the holes, the head frill couldn't play a good protective role. It might be mainly used for decoration, so we can draw some patterns on it. The general patterns in the circular holes might be the common ones on animals, such as those on butterfly wings, moth wings, or peacock feathers. We can also draw some stripe patterns like the usual ones on turtles or shells. Let's add some details, such as the soft skin around the nostrils. We draw some keratinous traces on the horns. Then, we draw its trunk backward. Its neck was not long, and most of it was covered by the head frill. It had a slightly raised back which was relatively short. Here is its pelvis, sloping down a bit. Let's draw its neck and throat in front. Let's draw it running. We draw its shoulders first, at the base of which are its forearms. Here are its upper arms. Forearms and toes. There were five toes on each forelimb. The first three had toenails and the other two did not. When it was running, its other front limb rested on the ground. We can draw it to rear limbs off the ground. This is its belly and this is the other limb. It had four toes on each rear limb, three of which were larger and one smaller. We draw its tail backward, which was not very long. We draw some shadings and dust on the ground. and the little rocks that its feet took up as it ran. Next, we draw some larger scales on its body sides. Then, we can draw some patterns on it. First, let's draw a set of boundaries distinguishing the darker skin on the upper half from the lighter belly.
Then, we draw some stripe patterns on the back, which are common on dinosaurs and reptiles. These stripe patterns tend to form patches on the sides of its body and become more elongated near the tail. Good, like this, we finish drawing the body of Taurosaurus.